but we can actually now instead of using the keyboard we can write directly onto the layer here so I'm going to cross this out and now I'm going to write September and boom we have text how cool is that Hello and welcome to iPad Lettering. My name is Karen, I'm from iPad Lettering and I'm here to help you get the most out of your iPad, whether that is with lettering or art or journaling. In today's video, I'm so excited because I just got a brand new version of Procreate. It's called Procreate 5X. It's a beta version. I've only received it yesterday and I didn't sleep much so you can see my ring under my eyes because I was so excited to try out all the new features. So this is a sneak pre view of all the features so let's jump right into it. At first glance Procreate doesn't look all that different but when you tap on the adjustments menu you see here that we've got a large number of new adjustment options and also the adjustments have been rearranged a little bit. Hue, saturation, brightness which was my favorite up until now is now at the very top which is super handy and then the next thing you'll notice when you tap on one of the adjustments there is now an option to either apply an an adjustment to the whole layer or use that pencil feature and this is available for all the adjustments so you have the same functionality that you had before which was layer but now you've also have the ability to use the pencil to adjust the settings I'm going to show you how this works in a second so the first new adjustment that I want to show you which is my favorite is that gradient map this is something that's been available in Photoshop for a very long time and this is something that photographers use for color grading but I think you'll find this useful as an illustrator or as a lettering artist as well so let me show you how this works so we're going to choose that layer gradient map feature to start with and now you'll see that we've got the gradient library come up and the image has already changed colors dramatically so we can change the look and feel of our image like this and I've made this picture here back in July so now it's September so now let's see how we can change this from a summer picture into an autumn picture so this blaze gradient library here you see that's got a number of different colors starting from very dark purple all the way to white and it creates this really nice blended overlay and it already makes the picture look a little bit more like autumn so now we can change this a little bit more and change some of these settings as well and maybe make this a little bit more towards red rather than purple and then we can also change these sliders so you can see how this applies this super nice gradient all over the picture and really changes it super super quickly you can also preview the adjustment so this is what it looked like before and this is what it looks like now so this is quite a drastic change now you can choose to apply this modification or you can cancel and this makes it so much easier to instantly color grade any of your illustrations or photos so I think this feature will really appeal to photographers as well but then of course you might find that this effect is a little bit too intense so now what we can do we're going to undo this and now we are going to select that pencil function now you'll see that the brush icon icon has received a little sparkle here as well so that means you can use all of your brushes that you already have to paint in the gradient map and while we are here I also want to show you a new feature that has been added to the brush studio and it has already been applied to some of the airbrushes you'll see that there's some new blending brushes here so when we click on one of these brushes to bring up the brush studio you'll see that there is a new blur feature that has been added to the wet mix tab of brushes so that means you can now apply a blur to the stroke while you are painting this is super super nice so this is the brush that we are going to use now to paint in that gradient map and the nice thing is that you can paint this in really really subtle of course you can also change the opacity here as well if you still find this too strong and the size so the brush behaves like a normal brush except now it paints in the gradient map and so this creates really really beautiful and subtle effects so you could even leave some of that blue in the background if you don't want it to be all orange and this gives you so much more control about how you want to use the adjustment layers in Procreate now let's have a look at some of the other adjustments that we have here as well so there's noise and when I first tried this out I was a little bit disappointed so the way it works is you put some noise onto the cameras and then I thought well this is a little bit weird you know why would I use this but it's got the these different settings here at the bottom 
and now let's turn up the scale and see what happens and now if you turn this all the way up we can see how this creates this really cool effect and now let's turn up octaves a little bit as well and then maybe turn down the noise and so now you can see how this creates some really, really interesting effects. Of course, I wouldn't apply this adjustment to this particular image, but I just want to show you the functionality. So it's got different patterns here as well that you can play with. And this almost creates that tie dye effect. Of course, I'm going to play a lot more with these new adjustments and I'm going to make some more in-depth videos to show you exactly what these modifications are going to be useful for. And then bloom. This is an interesting feature as well. So let's have a look at this. So we're going to turn this off. On and you can see how this creates these interesting highlights like this and then you can change the size here and the boon so I can really see myself using this feature in the future what about yourself what do you think and then we also have that glitch feature so this has four different patterns so it's got artifacts and then it has wave I think wave is interesting so you can sort of create these interesting effects signal I don't think I would use this, but you know, maybe some people have a uh, use for this and diverge. So you can kind of color shift your image a little bit. And then we have half tone. I think this is a cool feature. So this lets you add a half tone effect. You can do screen print, you can do full color or newspaper like this. So this is quite interesting. And then we also have chromatic aberration. I don't think this will come out with this image too much. I oh, know you can see how it's creating these chromatic aberrations here which is usually something that we're trying to avoid, but you know, you might want to add this in. So this is pretty cool. And we've also got this placement and this creates super cool effects as well. So I can see this, especially if you're a photographer, this really adds a lot of creativity to your workflow. And then the next feature I'm super excited about is that Procreate supports the new Scribble feature that's been added to iPad OS 14. So this only works if you have iPad OS 14. I'm going to show you how this works. Of course, now that we've changed the image to more like an autumn picture, that July label is completely wrong. So I'm going to turn this off and we're going to add a new text layer so we're going to go add text so now you see that the keyboard comes up but we can actually now instead of using the keyboard we can write directly onto the layer here so I'm going to cross this out and now I'm going to write September and boom we have text how cool is that I really like this feature I think this really adds to the experience and of course I like handwriting a lot so I think this is very cool and this doesn't just work in the text tool this also works with all the sliders let me show you what I mean by that so now if I wanted to adjust the brightness of this of course I could change the slider like this or I can just write the value in here as well so I can do 20 and then it adjusts it. And I think this is super cool. This works with all the sliders. You could just write the number on it if you want it to be super precise. And then the next interesting feature is the snapping functionality here. So you now have the ability to snap objects and this is really a feature that I've been missing a lot if you want to place something in the center of your canvas you can now so now you select snapping and now you can see how it provides guidelines so you can move your text around and then you can place it in the center of your canvas and it gives you little helper lines here and this is super super useful and then another feature that I really like is that it now tells you the width and the height of your bounding box like this so when you resize it you already know what that pixels are which is super handy and then that snapping also works with the rotation you can see here the angle so you can very precisely rotate any object like this and then next up is another new feature that a lot of people have asked for and that is a reference companion the reference companion is in the canvas settings so it's got this slider here which you can turn on and this gives you a preview of the canvas that you're currently working on which is nice but I don't think this is as useful as some of the other features you can also load an image from your library so if you have a reference picture rather than having it on the side which is what I usually do I bring up my photos app on the side you can now have this straight in Procreate which is super handy because you can place it anywhere on the surface and you can zoom the image as well so if you want to have a closer view or a more zoomed out view you can do that so that is super cool and then another cool feature is that you can 
paint your face. I, I don't know why you would want to do that, but I think it's super cool. So you tap on face and now the camera turns on and I need to lean over a little bit to show you how this works. So now you can see my face here. So now you can paint on your face directly if you want to. So let's see how this works. I can paint my nose a little bit like this. Quite some wall paint like that. So this is pretty cool, you know. I don't think it's something that I would use. So it's pretty cool. And then uh, another new feature that I'm very, very excited about is the ability to create color palettes from the camera, from a file or from photos. This is a feature that I've wanted for so long. So it's so much easier to create color palettes now. So you can now grab any photo, any file that you already have and create a color palette from it. So you select that photo and there you go, an instant color palette. How cool is that? And not just that, you can now also import Adobe color swatches as well. So all the swatches that you might have in Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator, you can now drop them straight into Pro create. It's amazing. I'm so happy about this. I think these are the most exciting new features and I really, really want to hear your opinion. So definitely make sure that you leave a comment and let me know which feature you are most excited about. Now, as far as the actual release date goes, I don't know when it's going to be officially available. I don't think it's too far away. And then yes, as always, this is going to be a free update. So if you have Procreate already, you will receive this update for free. I really hope you've enjoyed this video it would be awesome if you could give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm going to be making a lot more procreate 5x tutorials to show you in more depth how we can use all of these new features thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video